Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, May the 10th, 2016. The tarot card for today is the Knight of Cups, and I chose one from the deck called Tarot Pink for Cancer, since Sunday was Mother's Day, and they always hold the race for the cure on Mother's Day. So it just seemed appropriate to use one from their deck this week. Now, you know, the way the cards are going, the way things have been, I can't help but think that it's not just change that everybody has changed because I think so many are waiting to see what will that change be you know what's happening and what's coming but you know the knights they bring in certain elements their element okay and one of the ones that comes with the knight of cups is you know romance things of that nature hmm maybe maybe not never can tell now, with Mercury retrograde, wow, there's so many things this could be. Does someone show up that you want to see? Someone that you don't want to see? Hmm, never know. There, there's a lot that can happen here. So, a bringer of romance, bringer of love. What could that be? This one's also known as the knight in shining armor. And, you know, for everyone, that knight in shining armor is different. You know, what you perceive to be perfect for you doesn't have to be perfect for everyone else remember that this is also a very imaginative person all right and imagination is a good thing when you don't let it run away with you <laughs> when you don't let it control you in the wrong way so one of the ways it can is with that whole jealousy thing. If you start imagining there's something going on that isn't going on, and next thing you know, you're throwing a fit over something that never even happened, yeah, that's not good. You know, that is not good. Now, on the, you know, the opposite side of the spectrum here, um, with regard to, I always touch upon them sometimes being as Mercury as retrograde, that reverse type of meaning that jealousy that exists. We've been seeing this a lot lately, you know? Uh, me, I, I just try to ignore it. That jealous individual, I, I'm not going to communicate with you, okay? I can feel your jealousy from way over there, and I want nothing to do with it, all right? Can't imagine the source, the reason, but I want nothing to do with it. And, you know, there's that whole it's round for whatever reason. And many of you have indicated it to me. So we'll just keep that in mind that that's a part of it. There might be something that you, you know, see, hear, experience, and you go, hmm, okay. I didn't realize that was going on. But yeah, there, there's been a bit of that in the air lately. So we'll just keep our eye out for that. However, overall, this is, like I said, this is that romantic notion doesn't matter that it's Tuesday. My goodness, you could stop at the local grocer and meet the person of your dreams. You don't ever know what is going to happen and when. And I'm a true believer in true love. You know, true love is, it's, it's just as it should be. It's just that like when you meet someone and all of a sudden, maybe not from the moment you meet them, but all of a sudden one day you go, oh, Okay, wow, yeah. And here's another thing that I like to remind people of. Now, a lot of the Knight of Cups cards, they kind of show him, like maybe with a waterfall, something of that nature, maybe crossing a stream. He's working his way toward you, this notion of romance. And this is where some of you need the reminder that it's out there. Okay, picture your life as this, you know, path that kind of zigs and zags, twists and turns. It's been full of detours. It's been full of obstacles, hurdles to get over, things to duck under. You name it. You've been flattened. You've been steamrolled. You've stood back up. All right. But stop and think about it for a minute, all right? Along the way, so many of you are hoping that this person, the one that you desire so much, is just going to, like, 
be right there by your side to go through all this crap with you. Has it ever occurred to you that they have their own crap and that maybe they're out there zigging and zagging and ducking and bobbing and weaving and that all of a sudden one day the universe is suddenly going to allow your paths to cross. Okay? Keep that in mind. So instead of always feeling in despair that there is no love, know that the love is out there and it's on its way to you. And what you can do in the meantime, love you. Be the best you can, you can be and keep on bobbing and weaving. I want to thank you all for listening and I'll see you here tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.